Hi, it's Firestar here, and welcome back to a different video than a video you'd usually expect from me, like gaming or, for example, the video yesterday that you saw on the channel. Uh, it's really just a different topic that I want to talk about with you guys, just, you know, because I haven't gotten to this yet, and it really impacts a lot of people. It's not just like, you know, one singular person, because I've, I've dealt with this before, and I want to, you know, share with you guys what, you know, you can do and things to prevent uh, things like in bad situations like this. And this topic is going to be on mental health. And what I mean by mental health, I'm not talking about like, you know, sick or fever, cold, vomiting. That's all physical health. And while that is also important too to help you live a good lifestyle, mental health is just the same as a physical health. And... A lot of people, and it's not just, I mean, if you're a viewer who, you know, experiences bad mental health issues, you're not alone. There is millions of other people in the world who experience those same things as you do. I've experienced before and I've kind of, I kind of grown out of that. I still have some points or some spurts where, you know, I get a little sad down, you know, a little down in the dumps. But I feel like this is a time now where I'm, you know, getting over it and I can talk about my life and share it with you guys just because, you know, I'm living on my own and I've had these experiences before and I'm ready to show you guys, you know, a part of me out of YouTube what's been going on in my life and most of that is mental health. It's really good to keep a good mindset like being happy or positive interaction with friends and family and just enjoying life as it is. I know that we've experienced, you know, a pandemic a couple of years ago and it was a really downfall for a lot of people and their mental health. And they didn't, you know, they weren't at the, you know, top of their top of their game, I should say. I mean, I don't I don't really know a good thing to say about that. They were really at the top. They were feeling good until COVID hit. A lot of people did fall from COVID and became into a bad mental state. And that's actually where I came along too. I came along in a bad mental state in 2020. Uh, but I'll get into my part soon. I'm going to just worry about, you know, just not what it means, just just thinking about mental health and the things around it. And maybe, you know, if you guys have those issues, what you can do to prevent it. Because I've, again, I've dealt with mental health before. I've had some bad problems with it. And I am a person to experience it before. So I would love to help people. Because for me, I love helping. Helping is like one of my number one things I love to do because it makes me feel good that I can, you know, tell people and show people different ways to find the solutions to it. So going over the happy stuff again, positive interactions, you know, being happy, enjoying life and just spending time with loved ones. There's also bad side effects of mental health, which would include again, anxiety, depression, you know, isolation, feeling down, just hopeless, all these, all these things. Um, and there's a lot of ways to prevent that. I know that a lot of people who have overcame mental health, bad mental health states say it's impossible. I can't do it. There's no way for me to ever get out of this, my, this situation. I just feel like I can't do this anymore. And I'm going to tell you right now, there is a way out. I thought to myself that I was never going to feel better. I thought I was never going to get to where I am right now. It's where I feel, you know, pleasant. I, I feel awesome. You know, I, I'm back on my feet. I wouldn't say a hundred percent, but I'm most of the way back on my feet. And I'm really, really excited to, to share that with you guys. Now, there are many reasons to get you know, sad or down, whether it be, you know, feeling left out or, you know, connecting with someone and then, you know, you lose that person and you don't want to lose them. And then you feel like you did something and you're the cause of the problem. And while I still have those issues sometimes, it's just, I mean, people move on. And then here's the thing. 
they do move on, but then there's a good solid chance that they do come back to you and realize that, you know, maybe you have grown from that spot you were last time to where you are now to where they do enjoy you again and where they will like, you know, spend time with you. I still get upset where, you know, if I'm in a call with friends, you know, hanging out, I do get, you know, a little, a little upset whenever, you know, I can't think of stuff to talk about and I feel like I'm a letdown. I just can't say anything. So I just go quiet and I just feel sad about it. Now, obviously, that isn't a really good, you know, mental state to be in whenever that happens. I mean, it sucks that, you know, you aren't, you know, getting people's attention like anyone's. It sucks. But just know that even if you don't get people's attention, like you aren't funny or you aren't, you know, enjoying, like people aren't enjoying you. You are still loved by them. I promise. You're still loved by people even if you're in a bad position. But here's the thing. Before I get into my story about it, there are ways you can get out of the battle of sadness. There are so many ways, but the main reason to get out of it starts with you. You have to put in the effort to get better. And I know it's so hard to get to that spot where you have to put in the effort whenever you just can't help it, but you have to start. You have to start making the change. No one can do it for you. People can help you through it, but you yourself has got to make the change. And it's weird, you know, it's weird hearing this from a kid who's been, you know, you know, down in the dumps for the past couple of years. But since, you know, I've been out of that dump for quite a while, like what? Or like four, five months. It's really good that I can tell you guys how you can do it because I've done it myself and I had to start with me. You can't have other people do it. Again, people can help you do it, but you have to do it yourself to get going. Now for my story, <laughs> uh, there was a lot of ups and downs in my story. I've, I'm not going to get like really, really deep into it. But, like, I'm not going to, like, say some stuff that might, you know, affect some viewers. But I'm going to keep it, you know, chill to where it doesn't go deep. But I was, in 2020, I was really, I wasn't at my, I wasn't at my highest. Uh, in the beginning, I was. And then towards the end, I was kind of, you know, I was falling apart. I wasn't feeling good. You know, friends were starting, you know, maybe it was just me that was causing everything. I was just starting to lose it with all my friends. And then, you know, the end of 2020 came and, well... Things did not go well for me. There was things that were said by me. And now, you know, I went to a I went to a hospital to recoup myself because I know that what I did or what I said was not okay. It wasn't the best thing. And now after that situation happened, I even became into more of a lower state even after the hospital with all my friends, you know, it was, it was just like, it was like a gang attack. It was just, there was verbal, there was verbal words all the time on me really just went into play because it was my fault. I, I really was a letdown to my friends and I mean, I'm, it's, I'm glad it's over now, but it's, it's just something to look at back at that you really, it was me that was the cause of a letdown. And I just, I thought too much into it to where it made me go into a stage of depression. If you guys, okay, I'm going to say it right now. I'm sorry. I should have said this before I started. Yes, I do. Not right now. Why did I say do? I did have a lot, a lot, a lot. I had so much. I had severe depression and I had to go on medicine for it. I still have the medicine just in case if anything does go wrong, if anything happens. But I was in severe depression. I had some anxiety. I didn't really have a lot. It was more just the depressed side. I went on antidepressants. But knowing that, you know, you making the change, my friends love me now. Like, they really do enjoy who I am as a person. They love being near me because I'm so happy and I get to have fun. That's what it's all about. And that's what you can do too if you're in that situation too. It's just, you also got to understand that, you know, my problem was boundaries. Boundaries were a big issue for me. And then, so going after the hospital, again, I'm going to say it again. It was even a more lower part. I'm going to put this down. 
it was it was a more lower part for me than than the hospital and that incident. It goes on. It continues to be the same thing throughout 2021. And then 2022, I mean, I did get out of it, but it was late. So I was through it. And then right, I would say I like around August or September of 2022 last year, because now it's 2023. I really, I, that's when like, you know, things started to change. You know, I decided to step away from my friends because I was the cause. And even if I stayed in there, I would have been more of an issue. So then I did that. And then a couple months later, I come back and I, I say, what's up? And then everybody was really happy that I took that two month break. It was awesome. I love my friends so much. They're, They're watching this video right now. And they're really happy for me talking about this because I've been through it and the things I'm saying right now is going to make them probably more happier than ever. Um, that knowing that I was the cause of a lot of the things that happened with them and I couldn't be any more embarrassed about my situations and what I've done. But I'm just going to say it again because that was my story just in case to you know remind you guys before, you know you know, I go and end the video is that if you want to get better and in a good mental state, it has to start with you. You can't depend on others because that's what I did. Even though, I mean, you, you can, but it has to start with you. You have to start it first and then maybe, you know, talk with others to maybe help out and, you know, regroup and just think about all the solutions that you can find to get back into the right spot. And I'm really glad that, you know, I'm glad where I am now. It's getting darker. Holy crap. It's been cloudy all day. I feel like, you know, this is a great time to talk about it on a cloudy day because, you know, I've been through it. Not like I'm sad or anything right now. It's just, it's a good time to talk about it. But yeah, this is just a video on, you know, mental health and, you know, things that you can do to stop it. Uh, Well, I should say before I stop. <laughs> Before I stop, I swear I have more. Every time I like try to end the video, there's more things I want to talk about. But not only you have to make the change, but really taking breaks, listening to music, drinking water is also good steps in the right direction. I promise you. I sh- I I should have I should have listened to my friends because they told me to do that. I should have listened to them. I never did. I kept doing the things I did, and now thinking about doing that and took took a step away. Look at me now. I am killing it. So that's really it. I really hope you guys, you know, take this into deep consideration. Sometimes YouTube can also affect mental health and hopefully it doesn't do it for me, but we'll see how that goes. But for right now, I'm going to go. Next video is going to be coming out next week because this is the um, oh yeah, because this is the second video this week. So I got you guys on a back to back. So you're gonna have to wait till next week. I'll probably have one maybe Saturday to this week and then Sunday through Saturday next week. I'll have two videos out. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope this can help you guys into doing what you need to do to get better if you're experiencing those mental health problems. Um if this did help, make sure to hit a like down below, subscribe today, and I will See you guys in uh, the first video of Firestar Gaming for 2023. See you guys.